Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Today we are looking at this. This is the workshop series from Chapman. This is a UK made Chapman guitar. Now Chapman normally make their guitars, I think over in Indonesia and the Far East. And this is their first run of UK made instruments. Now you can go and buy a standard ML1, which looks very similar to this. And I'm looking on Anderton's website for this and currently they're 449 pounds. Now this, if you buy this in the UK, is three and a half thousand pounds. Now you might bulk up that price for a Chapman guitar, but I can tell you this instrument, the build quality is absolutely outstanding. So what do you get with this? Well, you get a satin finish with uh, this really gorgeous uh, flame maple top that they've got on it with a mahogany back and the most insane figured neck that I think I've ever seen on a guitar. Now, I've looked at some Ernie Ball guitars before and I thought that some of their necks have been absolutely incredible, but the actual wood on this guitar is definitely something else. Now all of the pickups on this are Chapman pickups, they're their own proprietary design and that's probably the only thing on this guitar and it's a preference thing that I'm not too keen on but I'll go over that in a minute. Now the tuners are these fantastic open gear lock-in hip shop tuners that I've never seen before and they really are something else. So you can really see that no expense has been spared on this guitar. <laughs> So let's have a listen to all the pickups. Now I'll start with the bridge pickup and there's a little bit of dirt in my amp, nothing too much, but it sounds like this. Bridge and middle. Middle. Neck and middle. A neck. Now here is my one gripe about the guitar because honestly this guitar is absolutely fantastic. The build quality is outstanding. Up with any sort of high-end custom built guitar that you can go and buy, probably for a lot more money as well. Now my only issue, and it's a preference thing, is the pickups. I find the humbucker quite dark, so if you look over to my overdrive pedal, I've dialed up the, the treble quite a bit. This is the treble control, by the way. And when we switch to the single coils, they're quite bright. So great if you've got like a channel switching amp, or if you like those sort of tones. But for me personally, 
love the uh, the sound of the single coils, but I think I would personally just change the humbucker. It's not a bad sounding humbucker at all, it's just not my preference. But if I dial back the treble a little bit, now if you listen to the single coils, they've almost got like an active sort of quality about them. So let's just talk about the elephant in the room, which is the price tag. Now, as I said earlier on in the video, you can pick up a Chapman ML1, the basic one, for about £450. And as I said, this is £3,500. And for that sort of money, you can go and buy a sort of similar design guitar, which is something like a Sir. Now I can tell you the build quality of this is every bit as good as my Sir up there. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm not getting paid for this video, but I did ask Chapman to lend me this guitar just so I could do this video because I was actually quite interested in how good this guitar actually was. And it really is absolutely fantastic. So this guitar does come with stainless steel frets, which isn't that uncommon now. You actually get it on a lot of cheaper end guitars as well as expensive guitars, things like Sirs. Fingerboard radius comes in 12 or 14. I think this one feels more like a 12 and I can tell you it's like butter to play. It's the easiest guitar probably that I've ever played. It makes playing fast things and intricate things a bit of a breeze. <laughs> One of the things I thought was quite interesting on this was that it's got a brand new bridge from Wilkinson. Now I've never seen this bridge on any other guitar and it reminds me a little bit of the, the Pete Thorne Sir guitar which comes with a similar sort of bridge because you've got these locking bolts that you can do on it. Now what I've done on my Sir Pete Thorne is to actually take them off because I don't personally think it needs it. The tuning stability on the Wilkinson Tremlows is pretty much second to none and you can do pretty much dive bombing stuff and it still comes back in tune. <laughs> And one of the great things about Chapman's range is this is a custom guitar. You can pretty much spec it out exactly as you want. You can choose the color, the whether it's flamed or quilted, uh, whether the, the neck has got a flame or whether it's bird's eye. So you really are looking at custom shop type specs. So there you go. Now, if you're looking for a modern high-end guitar and you're looking at spending Sir sort of money, I would highly recommend checking one of these out. I think it is a fantastic guitar. Now, as I said, my only issue is the pickups and that's not the guitar's fault or the manufacturer's fault. That is just my preference. And personally, I like a little bit of a brighter sounding or a bit more of a balanced sounding set. I definitely prefer a brighter sounding humbucker. I think the single coils, as I said, sound fantastic. So let me know what you thought in the comments. Let me know if you think Chapman's UK build guitars is definitely something that you'd be interested in trying. And I really hope you guys got something out of this video. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe, click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the studio. So I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.